What's up, my pilots? Vlogging Poncho here. I hope you forgive me for not singing in the intro this time. I, I spontaneously developed kind of a funky throat like three hours ago. I don't know what it's from. It's probably karma. Let's be honest. Probably karma. I'm, a, I'm an evil guy. So I, I come to you today with a tale of victory. Uh, we'll say that for the end. First, a little update. Uh, I'm in my sixth week of weightlifting now. Uh, a couple benchmarks. One is that I've made it this far without missing a single lifting day, which is awesome. This is the single most consistent dietary change I've made since becoming a vegetarian. Like this is like a lifestyle change, really. More than more than just dietary or, or exercise, it's a lifestyle change. I have been consistently. I haven't been perfect about the food, but I've been consistently working out three times a week, the same days in the morning, every time. I haven't missed one for in my sixth week now. And I've also been very consistently, I'd say six days out of seven or more, uh, eating within my diet, uh, under 1,500 net. And a lot of days it's less than that. Some days it's barely 1,500 aggregate. So it's pretty great. Uh, continuing to lose weight. I'm down 10 pounds from where I started five and a half weeks ago. And I've definitely put on muscle. So I've lost probably 12 to 15 pounds of fat, gained two to five pounds of muscle. It's awesome. I still feel really good. I feel really fit. I, like this is the most. I feel like this is the most attractive I've been in my entire life, which is a huge ego boost. And it's kind of funny that this all started after I already had a girlfriend. But there you go. It's not about that. It's about how you view yourself, not about how other people view you. For me, at least. And and the way that this makes me view myself is I've realized that the determination and the dedication that I've always wanted to apply to myself, I do have it. I can do it. So now when I want to do something even harder like uh, go to school at night while still working full time. I know that I have the dedication. I can do that. I will put in the time if it's necessary. Um, in other news, my pants don't fit. I think I may have mentioned this in the last episode, but they're like, this is like, they're bad. They don't fit at all anymore. I, I'm, I have to like keep going up on the belt and the, uh, the waistband of the pants is now officially larger than the notch that my belt is on to hold them on. So I have like an extra little piece of pants that's like tucked sideways because it has to like loop back a little bit in order to not be too big, which is awesome. I have not yet tried on my goal clothing. I'm not quite ready for that. I might wait until like the two month mark, see if those pants fit me yet. It'll be close, I think. It'll be close. But oh man, the, 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 the rewards could be endless if I keep this up. Like not only is this making me feel great, this, this honestly is probably putting years on my life. Uh, because my two options were this or nothing. That was basically what I was going to do. And if it had been nothing, I could have had heart disease at 45 and been dead by 50. You know, I, I could have croaked from a heart attack or a stroke or, I mean, high blood pressure. Who knows? And, uh, man, it, it feels, it's so rewarding to work hard, see results, and then also know that there's even more results that I can't see. That's a very positive feeling. And I'm all particularly proud of the fact that I have not skipped a workout yet. That, that sort of, for me, shows I'm, I'm, I'm going to stick with it. And I can do this for as long as I want to. It's awesome. I do miss staying up late, but I've pretty much gotten used to that. I'm getting tired by 10, which makes it a lot easier to go, bed, go to bed at 10. So that's pretty awesome. And now for my tale of victory. So as you might have picked up from the vlogs, I'm in the GM Bowling League. And I don't have my badge on. That's good. Uh, it's every Tuesday, after, right after work. We head over to the Brunswick zone, and this is, I'm giving enough information that people could find me now. It's getting a little bit weird, but I'm just glad none of y'all are like creepy stalker people. Some of y'all seem to know a lot, but not, nothing too, nothing scary. But uh, so we, we go to the bowling alley, nondescript, the bowling alley, uh, after work on Tuesdays, and uh, I guess we, we had our 10th week out of 12 this week, and before... This uh, before the events today, we were in second place. My team was, uh, and the team that was above us had to score the same number of points, which is by winning a game. The way that the scoring goes with the league is each week you're paired against another team. You play three games, and there's four points at stake. One point for each of the three games. So basically, it's total handicap score for each each team for each game. So let's say, let's say this team wins, this team wins, that team wins. So they get this team gets two points, that team gets one. And then the fourth point goes to the team with the higher average overall. 
throughout the three games. So that could actually go to either team. So you're getting somewhere between zero and four points each week. And uh, bef before the events today, we were tied with first place, and we were technically in second because we had a lower, uh, a lower average, but the same number of points. So then today, we played uh, the team that was above us, uh, the first place team. So we walk in there, and I ha we haven't ever played this team before. Uh, there's eight teams in our league, but it somehow it worked out that we hadn't played them until today. Uh, we kind of shuffled around, played some teams twice. I don't know how it works. So let me get to the point. We won out in the first game because they didn't do very well. It's a handicap league, so it's all about how you do compared to your average. Uh, and we both played above our average in the first game, me and my teammate. So we were pretty happy. We went to the second game, and things are getting tougher. The, they've, they've warmed up, basically. They're ready to go. And one of the players on their team uh, is an experienced bowler. who is, you know, He's got all the steps down. He has a strike ball that looks exactly the same every time. It's that kind of finesse bowling. And he is walking up there and just putting down strike after strike. I think toward by the end of the game, he must have gotten eight or nine. It was a lot of strikes. Uh, I think he had like a turkey and a four-bagger and then one more later on. It was, it was crazy how many strikes he was getting uh, in, a, in league play, where the lanes are really slippery. Uh, this is so much more difficult than a house pattern. So we're basically playing on like hard mode, and he's doing really well. And my teammate and I kind of look at each other and we're thinking, like, all right, we need to do, we need to do well in order to win this game. Because when, when you get strike after strike, it compounds the points. Basically, once you've got uh, two strikes built up, every strike after that is worth 30 points. That's how it works out in the end. So he was just knocking out 30 points off of the difference between, the two of us, between, between our two teams, just bringing them back up uh, for the score of the second game. So it comes down to the 10th frame. Uh, I, I, I've done the math in my head, you know, I was a math major, so I'm paying attention to this, and I know it's going to be close, and I'm the, I'm the second person to go on my team. My teammate goes, he does fine, he comes and sits down, I think he may have gotten nine pins on the tenth frame, not bad. Uh, so he sits down, and we're, we are, we are, I think we're up by a little bit, but they still have two players left to go. So their second player goes, and then their third player, the experienced guy, steps up there, and he puts down, I think, a spare and then a nine. So he puts up 19 points. I run the math, and I'm, I'm actually waiting. Because I'm, I'm, I let both of them go in front of me because I wanted to be the last person to go. I wanted to know how many points I was going to have to try to get in order to try and win this game. So I let, him go, I let her go, I let him go, and I look, I look down at the scoreboard, and they are up by 15 points. So basically, it's the 10th frame. I'm the only person who hasn't finished yet, and I need to get at least a spare and six pins in order to for us to win this game. And it was intense, at least for me. Like my heart was going kind of fast. I could feel like I was starting to sweat on my forehead a little bit. I was definitely feeling the pressure, but my teammate told me, he's like, why don't you just go ahead? Why don't you go ahead? Well, when I was waiting, I said, I'll do better if I know what I have to get. And he says, it's just going to put pressure on you. And I said, I'll do well. I can handle the pressure. So I, took, so I went up there and took a deep breath. I knew exactly what I had to do. I visualized in my head the strike I was going to try and get. I knew exactly where to put my feet, I knew where I was going to be looking, how I would do my release, and I knew exactly what it should look like if I did it right. And it was intense. I walked up there and I could feel the eyes of the, uh, the other team and my teammate. Uh, three rooting against me, one rooting for me, and all just kind of waiting with bated breath to see what would happen. Because if I airball on this first one, it's over. Like I'm not going to be able to recover from that kind of mistake. And so uh, I need to get 15 points. I walk up there, put my feet in place, I look at the line, I get my position, I walk up there and let it go, rolls down there, gets a strike, and my teammate and I just go ballistic. It was awesome. It's like, all right, all right, that's 10 out of 15, done. I walk up there, throw another ball, eight more pins, and we ended up winning by three points. It was awesome. It was awesome. And it wasn't even like, we ended up winning by three, and it was really close. And it was like it all came down to me at the end. It was like I was in a movie or something, and like the Mighty Ducks are about to, you know, it's like a buzzer beater. It was so, it was so climactic, and it, like all the attention was centered on me. And normally I hate that, but today I just I sort of stepped into this confidence, and I, and I said to myself, I can handle the pressure. I'll be the person who makes or breaks this game. And I stood up there and I made it. Damn it! And it was immensely satisfying. It was awesome. We ended up winning that game by three points. 
And then in the next game, uh, my teammate did a very similar thing, where in the 10th frame, he got, actually, he did really well in the 10th frame, he got two strikes and eight, and uh, ended up putting up enough points that the experienced guy on the other team wasn't able to make up the difference. And so we ended up winning all three games and the average. So, pretty awesome. Uh, the end result being that my team is now the top in the league, and we are only two weeks left in the season. So we have a four-point lead on four-point lead on first place with two weeks left, and it uh, it feels pretty good. We were in the middle of the pack a couple weeks ago. We we've really come up, and was a uh, that was just an awesome experience for me because my experience with team sports throughout my life has been uh, overwhelmingly negative. I would say that's how I would characterize it: overwhelmingly negative, overwhelmingly negative. Too many syllables in those words. Over, overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly. Something's, something's weird about that. That might be my new depth. Anyway, I mean, I remember all through middle school, I was always the, you know, the, I was never the lanky dork. I was always the pudgy dork. And so I had nothing going for me as far as sports were concerned. Like, I couldn't even, I couldn't even run properly. When I was training to go to Filma, I was doing laps and I did sprints. And this person stopped me to ask if I was recovering from an injury because the way I run is so unnatural. And uh, that's how bad it was. And that was like that through like all through all of school. I was never on like an actual sports team, but anytime that it was gym class, everybody knew that I wasn't going to be very good. And I was always the kid who got picked last. I know that's stereotypical, but really that was me. And I was basically good at nothing uh, as far as sports were concerned. And I, I've been. I've been doing well in sports lately. I, I mean, I've kind of gotten into, like, I guess you'd call them white-collar sports. Uh, I've been playing ping-pong really well lately. I've, I've been beating one of my coworkers who has uh, been consistently beating me for the past couple months. So I may have finally found a groove on him, been able to make some good shots. And then I went to the leagues tonight and just, in a clutch moment, laid down a strike exactly when I needed to. It was awesome. Very, very rewarding experience, and man... It feels good to win, and for me, being part of a team compounds the results of anything. If you fail, you failed your team. But today, I succeeded, and because of my success, my team succeeded, and that makes it even bigger. So it's, it's, it makes it more extreme when you're part of a group, and it was immensely rewarding today. Today might have been, I mean, I've been a leader before in, in situations, but never in like a team sports setting. Um, in, in this case... I put up that game a 157, my best score ever in a league game, and it was exactly when we needed it. It was very cool. For me, it was, the, it was the first time in my life where I've had a team sports experience where I came through and my team was proud of me. It was awesome. For me, that was just something that was totally foreign. Like, I'm sure a lot of people experience this in like Little League or even like one day in gym class. It's just a small success that gives you confidence for other things later. I just can't believe it took me this long, and I'm, I'm really glad it happened. It was very cool, very cool. Now, we gotta, now all we got to do, my team uh, and I, we got to keep it up for the two more weeks, and we can maybe win the league. I don't know, even know what that could get us. I don't think it's a trophy or anything, but it would go us bragging rights for the next year, which would be nice. That's what it's all about. <laughs> all right, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.